then you are ruining development. You are ruining development. Ruining your sasa engine ya ngombe. Ruining your engine. Ruining your engine ya kutengeneza maziwa. Ruining your engine ya kutengeneza growth. Ruining your engine ya kutengeneza fertility. Ruined your engine ya kutengeneza meat. Na ruined your engine ya kutengeneza mbolea ambayo ni fertilizer. Na mbolea ni maji. Mbolea ni nini? Na mkulima akiwa hapa na hapo sasa ndio tuna muki baby. Kama kuna soka sababu ukiwa na akili nzuri kuna nafasi za kuanza kufanya ni kuhakikisha unatunza kilo ya makao na ndio yako vile unatunza kile ya maziwa ambayo unataka mu Takuwa kwamba rume ni ya ngombe the lot is in the first how many months? Three months. You must do everything you can to make sure that that rume is perfectly developed. Na hivyo develop the rume of the cow properly as fast as possible. You now you know you have a cow that will give you 50 liters on your farm. Kaka kwa mtoto yule. Rume ni tumbo ya ngombe na ngombe wanaitwa ruminants kwa sababu wako na rume. Na rume is ni kama tu a foundation cow. Unaona katika ile mama kile chuo matumbo yubani. Uangalie ile chuo kwa sababu au kwa sababu kuna chuo matumbo yubani hivi. Au kuna chuo kujangalia wale kile kuna ile kitu nataka kama kawe. Unaijua? Ukiangalia ndio nataka kuona hii ilikuwa na kawe ikiwa kama kawe ni ile kama imejaa kila mahali. Wakati mimi nakuta mtu mwingine imejaa kila mahali. Na ingine ile imejaa mahali kile kingine na kasi mtu kama hapo. Sile kweli? Na ingine iko na ingine kidogo na nini? Na kitu ukiangalia rume ambayo was what they were doing inakaa kama shamba wale wote wote ile ndio ina kai ya jamii ni kama imesambaa kila mama siku ndio kodetewa matumbo ya ngombe ambaye alitunzwa kizuri na alikuwa anatoa maziwa mengi hapo wakati wa growth yake alikuwa ana grow very fast utaona kile ya matumbo ya mejia hiyo hiyo ni ndio 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 utakuta kwamba kama hivi na kama kama tutabu imemea pande hii imemea pande hii imemea pande hii imemea pande na unaona kwa maso ni bezi na kutapelezea kizu kwa sababu gani kwa mbamu na kwa papa na kuna kunae kwa nyari wali ya mkasuguni haka kukuta kwa mba mzee hile sosa ni kwa nako ya safari haku mkumuka kutubia jana yake anachukua sosa na kwa akisha kuwa anachukua hiyo sosa anayitafu ndani ya ndani ya kawa ana ile mtani ya tawe hii sikwe ana tu ana hii ana hii kama hii akikamua hiyo anatoa anaweka mahali ambapo hajakamulia ana roho tena hii anafanya nini anakamua akifanya baada ya kusoko ile kawo anaona how we need to extract energy not take Mineral, stress elements kutoka kwa chakula ambacho ngombe anakula unless tumepanda na mifame mifame na inachukua between 20 and 40 hours kufanya nini na hiyo ndio sababu kwa mkulima na uko hapa ukitoka hapa you must always seek to know How will you help your cow to digest the feed by helping the cow to ferment? Because about the moment I have to be a young man, unless you are a man, who can tell that you are a man? That means that you are a man. That means that you are a man. If you are a man, 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 ambayo yuko ndani ya ya tumbo ya pili na ya tatu anafikiria inafikia hivi ile 
ndogo ndogo kama hii fresh kataka kataka kama bonda bonda kiasi ukisha kataka kama bonda bonda mtu kidogo ingina ndani ya mama kisha utoe uchukue vitiko vingapi ya hii mwana plastani kama vile mtanga mtangani kisha umlaanishe nyazi ambayo imesikwa sikwa kila mahali leo pa haule alamle 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 kibarua lakini kwa namna yake akishamaliza kulamba mbele kama glasi gani za maji siku ya ile hivyo tena siku ya tano muongeza nyazi ndio muongeza powder ya mwana plastani kama siku ya sita ongeza maji ongeza nyazi na ongeza maji na ongeza mwana plastani kama akifikia siku nane tisa ataanza kuwa ameanza kujua kukula mwenyewe mwenyewe akianza kukula na anaendelea kukula unaongeza nyazi na unaongeza kauli unaongeza nyazi na unaongeza kauli alafu unaanza kupika uko mbele ukiongeza hiyo kidogo sasa unaweza kuna chukua mkono mmoja na nyazi imejaa kuna chukua mkono mmoja kauli na unajaa unachanganya anakula hivyo 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 mpaka unaweza kumbea mikono mbili ya nyazi mikono mbili ya kauli akianza kufika by the time atafika siku kumi kumi na tano atakuwa anaanza kuongeza weight by the one kilo and one or two kilos pa akifika 20 days utaona ndama wako 20 days utaona ndama wako ni kama ndama wa mizi ngapi mimi mimi ta na kwa mizi na kwa siku shiri akifika 30 days atakuwa na kula between 3.5 kilos 3.5 kilos and 4 kilos na atasukuza na sasa sasa akifika 40 days utaona huyu anakula zaidi ya 4 kilos per day unaanza kupunguza mazigo mazigo na unaanza kumpea akule nyazi na chakula kingine ambacho kinapatikana hii kila siku kila siku pamoja na unachanganya na ile ya mama yake anazoea sana hii ilikuwa na unachanganya na hii unachanganya na na the grass na unachanganya na na silage unaanza kumpea akifika 45 days na anakula mtiri 4 and 5 kilos hakuna haja ya kutea hata kimoja mazito na nimesema hakuna haja kwa sababu amedevelop group yake vizuri ako na capacity ya kusiaga chakula anakisiaga na akikula na siaga anaisikia njaa anatamani nyingine utakuwa umepata ngombe ambaye appetite yake itakushangaza atakuwa yule ngombe mimi kama mkulima unajua kwamba ngombe ambaye anakula mazao mazuri ni yule ngombe ambaye anataka kule mara kwa kutoa kwa kula yeye yeye anafanya hivyo kwa sababu system yake iko na uwezo akikula inasiaga vizuri inabaki anasikia njaa anataka kula anasikia njaa anataka kula sasa ni kama ngombe ambaye anachukua ajo roma kilos na akitumia anaisiaga vizuri na akisiaga vizuri anatengeneza production lakini anataka kula njaa anatamani tena kula unaelewa 